Sveiki, mėlėjai, Žalgiris Insider Sirgaliai. Kaip ir kiekvieną savaitę mes stengiame su jumis sugrįžti su įdomiais pokalbiais, ne tik su Kauno Žalgirio komandos žaidėjais ar treneriais, bet ir aišku su įdomiais pasaulio krepšinio atstovais. Ir grįžtame su rubrika Eurolake Talks ir mūsų naujojo sezono rubrikoje Eurolake Talks pirmasis svečias, ne kas kitas, o vienas iš galingiausių Eurolygos ketvirtųjų numerių, Kartvelas Tarnikė Šengelija. Gamardžiova Tarnikė... Rogor Har, is it that good? Oh, Kargats, Kargats. Uh, it was very good, very good, impressive. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you. I'm good, how are you? That that second season with Valencia, it was exceptional season for the club. Uh, they won the uh, Euro Cup uh, and you were a young player playing for that team and you played with Nando De Cola, Matthew Nielsen. Uh, uh, how how yeah, was yes. it to, to have a title so at so young age and playing with, with these guys who were... Who are stars now? Yeah, I mean, it was amazing to me. You know, uh, even I think even uh, end of my first year, that's when I started to practice with the first team. Uh, it's actually a very interesting story because uh, the way I uh, started to practice with them was uh, uh, I, I was coming out from the uh, juniors practice, and after juniors practice, I would I would always go and sit and watch uh, uh, main team practice. You know. Mm-hmm. And I would sit up there so I don't bother nobody and nobody sees me, you know. So just watching, just, yeah. Just watching, yeah. And by the time uh, Fotis Katsigaris was uh, was a coach, and uh, I kind of saw that he saw me and uh, he called uh, assistant coach and uh, he told him something and pointed the finger to me and I was like, oh man, I'm in trouble. You know, like, <laughs> uh, I thought I thought they were going to come and tell me why you watch practice, just go home, whatever. And assistant coach comes, calls me. Uh, I go there, and he gives me the uh, a lot of papers, and he tells me that uh, learn this. This is our playbook, and tomorrow you start practice with us. And I was like, uh, <laughs> crazy feeling. Yes, crazy feeling. Imagine I never go there to see the practice. You know. So you stayed up all night learning that playbook? All night learning, yes. <laughs> I was so excited. During that time when you were playing in Basconia, Tada Sedekerskis, Lithuanian, joined the organization. How how do you remember his first days in Basconia and how happy seeing you him now when he's a good rotation guy in the Europe? I'm very happy, man. Very happy for Tadas because uh, I kind of see a little resembling... Uh, situation because he was also working working very very hard when he was there you know and didn't really was getting a lot of opportunity you know his Euro league is a lot, lot different than NBA because every game every position you know like you and every point even if you're winning 10 points or 20 points you need to win more than that you know so because of that I think that he didn't get a lot of opportunities you know and uh, I was kind of like feeling for him you know uh, But what I loved about him was that even when he went to Lithuania to play for for that team, uh, I don't remember the name exactly. Neptunas, yes. Neptunas, yeah, Neptunas. Uh, uh, he be, he went better and he became even better and bigger with the physicality, you know. And when he came the second time, they were they were right. Okay, now now he's you know he can be in the rotation, you know. And uh, also the. Many coaches, uh, coach changing was going on in Basconia, you know, and uh, every 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 yeah. time some some new coach come, there is no really opportunity for young player because these coaches need to win again, you know. So, uh, but now I'm really happy to see him doing really good, you know, uh, really really good. His uh, his shooting got improved a lot, uh, physicality obviously you can even see it, and uh, I think he's gaining a lot of trust from the coach. And uh, I think it's a matter of time where when uh, he's going to go play for uh, for uh, NBA, you know. Algirdas asks kind of the same question, but uh, I change it a bit not to repeat once again. And I ask you this, how fun is to play against Paul Lucianconos? Because you had many battles on the court in the EuroLeague. Yeah, but <laughs> Paul, man, he's a very experienced guy, you know, and some things that... Uh, I would do to other players so uh, with my speed or uh, my my power uh, so, um, especially from the beginning of when I came back uh, he would always get me with the uh, experience you know he would <laughs> waste half of the energy that I was wasting but uh, he would get more 
more <laughs> beneficial, you know. So uh, then I had to rearrange uh, my game against him sometimes because uh, his hands are really quick and he knows how to use use it. And obviously the rebounding part is terrible with him because he's always there annoyingly. But uh, yeah, I really like uh, also to play against uh, against him. Bonjour. You want to see the whole video? Subscribe Jalgiris Insider. Nieko nelau, jau dabar tap Žalgiris Insider prenumeratoriumi. Įsijung į Žalgirį.